Hello and welcome to another Crochet with Chris tutorial. I'm your host Chris. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the puff stitch which is this stitch right here. It is actually a very pretty stitch when it's done. Um, I apologize having you do it in orange but it's the best yarn scrap that I have right now for the camera. Um, it's a very pretty stitch. I've done some very nice scarves in just the puff stitch only and people love them. It's soft, it's squishy, um, you find a nice soft yarn and it's actually a pretty, uh, I'd say elegant stitch. It can really come together nicely. And an, even better, it is an easy stitch. It is considered an easy skill level. So it is somewhat of like a modified double crochet, I guess, if we're going to go. It doesn't technically use any of the basic stitches, but it's pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is, when you're working into a puff stitch, I know when you're reading the pattern it'll tell you on the first one, go into this many chains, this and that, but when you're working into a puff stitch, if you pull it just a little bit, you're going to see there's a little round hole at the top of the puff stitch. That's where you're going to be inserting your hook when you're working across a row. So to do a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over and go through your stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through again. Pull your yarn up a little bit so it's easy and it, or it's even, but you want it to be kind of big because you're going to be creating a puff. Move that back. You're going to yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over and pull through again. Well, now instead of three loops, you should have five loops on your hook. Now we're going to do that one more time. We're going to yarn over, go through the same hook, yarn over, pull through again. Now we should have seven loops on our hook. And that means you're almost, you're going to seal off your uh, puff stitch by yarning over and drawing through all seven loops that are on your hook. And then you link, or you uh, stitch it off with one chain. And that one little chain is what's going to create the hole for your next row of puff stitches. So let's do that again. We're going to yarn over, go through our stitch, yarn over, pull through, which is three loops. We're going to yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through again, which is five. We're going to yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over and pull through again, and now you have seven. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on the hook. And you're going to secure that with a chain one. Let's do one more together. We're going to yarn over, go through our stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull through, and now we would have five loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through again for seven loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops and secure with a chain. Now we've created three puff stitches in a row here. Let's do one more and then I will let you go and create your own puff stitches. So yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, that's three. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, that's five. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, that's seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops on the hook, secure with a chain. And that is how you do the puff stitch. Like I said, um, it's a great practice just to do a scarf. You could do a good six, seven inch scarf across. Find a nice little tweed color, something simple. Um, I think my favorite is oatmeal, and I love this yarn brand yarn. And it's soft enough, even though it's acrylic, and it makes a wonderful pattern. So you just go across. Probably 10 puff stitches in a row would give you a nice width scarf, and then just Create your scarf all in puff stitches and you will be amazed at how soft it is. So with that said, I want to wish you all happy hooking. Uh, have a great day everybody.